five things that I do to protect my mental health always, but especially right now. And any time of transition or change for me has always been hard. That's when things have gotten rough in my mental health. One thing I do, number one, is honesty. Honesty with myself first, because that was always a problem for me. I was constantly lying to myself, and you can't tell others the truth if you're not telling yourself the truth. And then honesty with other people, so communicating my feelings. If I get to that place, I have to communicate it with somebody else. My husband, a friend, anybody, really. The moment you say it out loud, things start to get better, sometimes significantly better. The second thing is commitment to therapy. I have been still committed to therapy through all of this. I'm so fortunate that I have the ability to meet my therapist online and do a virtual visit. There are a lot of states and also just organizations that are providing free therapy right now because so many more people need it. Keeping my regular appointment has kept not only the normalcy but also the important mental health normalcy. Finding purpose and hope. So purpose, I, I know that everyone feels, I feel helpless and that's what's been weighing on me. We were very sick for three weeks. Everybody in the family, two of my son's teachers tested positive. So we were kind of assumed positive. We had every one of the symptoms, luckily very low respiratory issues, um, but we couldn't get a test and that felt helpless. And then I feel helpless because I can't go help somebody else because I don't know if I already had it. There's a lot of unknown. And so finding purpose and what's right in front of you, finding the ability and, and shining a light on what you can do from the place that you're in and realizing it's not going to be forever. That's a huge one. I try to meditate first and get my mind in the right place and try to come back to it at any point through the day so that I can be realistic about my feelings and I can really go through the checklist of what matters and what doesn't. In the morning I always write on my shower wall what I'm grateful for and then on the other one kind of a, a mantra or a, a goal for the day and I keep those two things top of mind and that helps out by just actually writing them on that door. And then finally just realizing, and, and this is like my cheesy way of saying it because I'm a meteorologist, but the clouds don't last forever. They can't and they won't. It's not how the atmosphere works and it's not how life works. I can't say that I even understand an iota of someone who doesn't have food and doesn't have a job. Um, so there's all different levels of this, but we're all being impacted and I think that we all hopefully in mental health wise can realize there's an end. There has to be. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.